Hello there and welcome to another Bow Beats synth review and today we are finally checking out the Erika synths Percons. What's going on here? <laughs> like <laughs> Okay, let's let's mess it up. This is one massive drum machine. It's huge. It's not as heavy as you might think, but it's really nicely built. Lots of big knobs to turn and a very hands-on workflow. And in today's video, we're gonna explore five reasons why you might wanna buy one and also three reasons why you shouldn't. Because let's be real about it, this is an expensive drum machine, and if you are about to spend two grand on something, you should really do your research first. See, in today's video, we are gonna explore the Percons, we're gonna take a look at what it can do, what it sounds like, and all the good stuff. And a big thank you to Erika Synths for sending the Percons over, and a big thank you to today's sponsor, DistroKid. So if you wanna upload your music, use DistroKid. They're linked in the description. It's a really good service to get your music to Spotify, iTunes, and other online stores. Super inexpensive and really easy to use. More about them later. And one reason for you to stick around for a 20 minute review of the Percons is that I'm gonna show you how you can actually use this to be creative. Because good hardware enables us, that's what it does, that's what separates it from software. And one of the amazing things that good hardware can do is help you transform your ideas from one thing to another thing. So let's start with the first and perhaps most obvious reason why you might want to buy this and add it to your ever-growing arsenal of things that makes bleeps and bloops. And that is the sound. It's an impressive sounding drum machine. It has four voices. Each voice has its own filter. It's a multi-mode filter, so you can switch between band pass, high pass, and low pass. And there's a really nice master compressor, and altogether it just really hits hard. <laughs> Like, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now let's get negative and it's about the sound and this is the first reason not to buy it. And that is because the sound, while it's good, it's not very versatile and if you're looking for a drum machine that can do a bit of everything, this just ain't it. <laughs> I don't have a better word for it, but this drum machine really suits techno and heavy electronic music. It's very industrial, it's very gnarly in its sound, kind of rough around edges, but also has a ton of bass, and the master compressor makes it sound huge. This is a specialist, not a generalist, just like the Modor DR2 that I reviewed, the Soma Pulsar 23. It does what it does really well, but it just doesn't do everything. So if you want something that can go really, really hard, especially for techno, but you want more features and a lot more flexibility, then I would actually point you to something like the Analog Rhythm Mark II. Note, however, that the Analog Rhythm has a lot more menu diving than the Percons. Now let's switch again back to positive mode and the second reason why you might want to buy the Percons is the workflow. It's just an incredibly hands-on instrument which just begs to be played and I can't overstate how quick and easy it is to get going with it. So let's create a drum beat and a drum kit from scratch. So we have the four sequencer lanes here and we have these buttons here to preview the sounds and we can just put down steps. Increase the tempo. Just tweaking the sound a bit till I feel it's right. So tweaking the sounds a bit, we have the kick and this sound. Nice and punchy snare. And a hi hat. Could we turn some hi hats? And we can parameter lock the steps so we can get an open hi hat if we want to. And with our little sap sound, we just put down a bunch of steps. And it sounds horrible, but we can just program some probability and ratcheting per step. And we create this little very, I don't know what we're supposed to call it, but it's kind of nice. And we're going to mod here and send the LFO to affect the pitch. weird beat. And if we hold down shuffle, we can add individual shuffle amount per track. So hold down shuffle, just add a bit here to that weird bleepity bloop and to say, I don't know, the hi-hat. And we can send it to the delay. Okay, now we're actually getting somewhere. So I recorded some changes to the algorithm here per step for the hi-hats. And now let's get into the kick drum. I've changed the tuning here for two steps and we're gonna put down some more steps here and we hit probability. So we change the probability of this step playing to 50% and we put our little ratchet here at the end. Kind of nice. We can change the algorithm for this last step as well. So what else can you do? Well, we can play with the last step, so changing the length of the pattern. Changing the length of the hi-hat pattern for example.
don't know, something like that. I mean, you get the idea. It's kind of wild, kind of crazy. You can get into some really unpredictable territory, which is just a ton of fun. So we have these four voices here. We have the four sequencer lanes. I showed you a little bit here just on the fly that you can set different probabilities per step. You can set different odds of a step playing. You can also set different ratcheting. So you basically just hold down a step, press ratchet here. So that's kind of cool. We have tempo here, modulation set settings here. So speed here, you can sync it to the BPM as well. Very nice. Hit mod to go into the mod matrix. We'll get into that later. Um, yeah, and you have shuffle here per track. There's also settings here for your old shift. You can set different, for example, groove settings. So we can set that per track as well. So that just changes up the patterns a bit. Now these are presets. So we have four different ones. I think the last one is a random one. And yes, you can parameter record all the parameters here into the sequencer. You can also do it while it's live playing. You can also live play into the sequencer by just hitting record, play, and a button here. So yeah, it's very straightforward. Uh, you can hit record, play. begging to be played and that is uh, that is what you're paying for that's why it's so expensive not only because there is analog filters per voice because they are digital voices but this is just built to be played and something you can also do by holding shift is changing the speed of the pattern <laughs> And slow it down. And if you're playing with it live and you've messed the pattern up with these different speed settings and it comes out a little weird once you set them back. Okay, this sounds cool, kind of cool, but still, if you wanted to go back to its original state, you can just hit reset. And now we're back. Okay, I want to mess it up some more, <laughs> because this is just, it's just a ton of fun. Nice. The second reason why you shouldn't buy it is that while it's very immediate, it's not very feature packed. So we have four voices, they have identical controls here, but they do sound a bit different. They can produce slightly different kinds of sounds. So the first voice here is ideal for kicks. Second one here can definitely do kicks, but also more of these like, I don't know, bassy tones, uh, tom sounds. The third voice is really good for snare type sounds and metallic type sounds.
And the fourth voice is really focused on noise, so you can do hi-hat type sounds. And all four of the voices have three algorithm settings that just changes the sound character, and then we have three mode switches. So these changes what the parameter knobs do, and I won't go over all of it in today's video. There are other videos out there that will just go through all of this. Uh, and then you have your filter. It's an analog filter, multi-mode, so we have band pass, high pass, and low pass. Really nice. Uh, you have drives. So you can really fatten up the sound and drive it. And then we have the delay. It's a bucket brigade delay. I usually don't like it, but it works really well for this drum machine. Then we have the master volume here. We have send, um, and you also have a compressor. The compressor is actually really nice. Let me let me just show you here. As soon as you start to introduce it, it just mm, gives the sound like this nice oomph. There's only one LFO here. We have the speed setting. We have waveform here. We can set the mod level. There are different things you can parameter lock per step. For example, ratcheting different odds of playing a step. You have probability per step. You also have different play modes for the sequencer, back, forward, random, and so on. They are not very advanced either. So. Yeah, it's not super feature packed, and that is one reason why you might not want to buy it. Now, another reason why you might want to buy this is because of the I.O. and the build quality, just the, the physical nature of it. So it's huge, it's a really big drum machine, but it's not that heavy. So it's actually something that you can carry with you for a live show pretty easily if you just have a bag for it. And there's actually very nice I.O. So there's individual outputs for the voices, and there's also this effects send and return, which just takes the, the sound into, say, an effects unit and back into the unit itself. Very nice, very usable. So overall, I feel that the build is really nice and the fact that it doesn't weigh a ton is very helpful. Now, before I talk about the fourth and super important reason why you might want to buy one, here's a word from today's sponsor, DistroKid. So DistroKid is a service that lets you upload your music to Spotify, iTunes, and other relevant stores. And one reason to use them is the price. They're actually very affordable. Another reason is that once you're a subscriber, you can upload unlimited amounts of music to all the different stores. And they have also launched a super accessible, really easy to use instant mastering service. This new mastering service is called Mixea and it has a super simple to use interface. Anybody can use it. You just drop your music into it and you get one free master download if you just want to test it out. And then you have to subscribe for $99 a year for unlimited amounts of mastered tracks. And it's really easy. You just drop the track in there. You make some adjustments to it. You can change the intensity intensity, the volume of the track, and you can change the EQ from sort of brighter to warmer sounding. And I was actually pleasantly surprised about the results. It sounds pretty good, actually. You can go check out this tricky. They are linked in the description. And if you use my link, you get a discount and you also support the channel. So the fourth reason why you might consider buying one is how inspiring it is. Hardware is best when it's inspiring and the Percons is very inspiring. Now I've said inspiring many times, but yeah, it's inspiring. So to explore the Percons, I'm going to play a pattern that I made on it with a custom kit. So those are the sounds. You can save different kits here, basically different sound settings. And I'm just going to mess it up. I'm going to change up the sound and the pattern a bit. And yeah, so you can hear kind of where we're moving from, from one pattern, one sound to something completely different probably completely crazy because this is one wild drum machine. And I think that the magic here is really that you have all of this at your fingertips. So we can just hit record. We can record changes to whatever parameters we want. 
And it instantly records into the sequencer. We can even record the little uh, these little switches here into the sequencer. Or you could just hold down shift here and turn any knob and it will change the same parameter for all the voices. And that's not even getting into the modulation, so you hit mod here and we can set up different modulations, for example for tuning, decay, uh, there are different parameters here, the VCF, the drive, effects and the level. So we can say, set, for example, different pitches for the kick here, won't sound very good. Uh, so we're modulating the pitch here using the LFO. And I mean, it's <laughs> it's just crazy. I'm, I, I like the beat is what it is, but I mean, you get the idea. It's... And we could just go back to the original kit that I had. So you just hit pattern here, go back to the original pattern, go back to original kit. And this is where we started. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's one wild journey, just changing everything up. Now the third reason not to buy one is the price and the competition. As with other expensive drum machines, it's a good idea to be real about what you're actually paying for. So the analog rhythm, motor, DR2 and Pulsar 23 comes to mind as expensive machines that need to do a bit of justification of their respective price. And in the case of especially the DR2 and Pulsar and the Percons, you are paying for a well-built and kind of physically impressive instrument that sounds unique in some way, whether or not you like the sound, and none of them are feature monsters, but rather instruments with specific personality. But for many of you, something more affordable, like the Erica Synth's LXR02 for example, the TR8S or even the Syntact could be worth looking at, because they are much more feature-packed machines, and they're less pricey, and they will likely satisfy your drum machine needs, even though they are not as physically impressive as the Percons. And if you're still with me this far and you like the sound, you like what you're hearing, and none of the other machines scratch that particular itch, then you know that the Percons is right for you. And the last reason why you might want to consider buying a Percons is, well, it's fun. I mean, what's going on here? <laughs> like. Okay, let's, let's mess it up. Can deny the fun factor like it's it's seriously fun it's an immediate fun device it's something that separates hardware from software there's software that will sound just as good but it won't be as fun and i think an instrument that brings a smile to my face sometimes that's all i need to know about it because i test so much gear and some of it while good while it does the job uh, while it's bread and butter, this is just something special. And yeah, it's subjective and it might not be for you, but I did enjoy reviewing this a lot.